Today we are going to be transforming this men's shirt into a bomber jacket. You're going to need scissors, pins, tape measure, chalk, thread, and a sewing machine. You're also going to need some lace or any leftover piece of fabric of your choice. In this case, I'm using this beige lace that I've had in my stash for years, no lie. Take your shirt and place it flat on a surface. Smoothen it out to remove wrinkles, just so it's easier to work with. Take a jacket you have, preferably another bomber jacket, and place it on top of the shirt. Match it all up. Then fold back the sleeves on both sides in order to cut easily. Then mark above the band of the jacket and then at the sides all the way up to the armhole. We're only going to do one side and then fold at the middle, then cut out. Now onto the sleeves. Take the jacket sleeves and smoothen it. I pinned the sides so it wouldn't keep moving around. It has a very slippery lining. Now place it on top of the shirt sleeve and just make sure everything matches up. I'm marking above the band then cut out. When it comes to the armhole, mark with a chalk first so it's easier. Now you can cut it out. Use that sleeve to cut out the other one. Now I want to cut out the band. First marking the sides. I'm using the lower piece of the shirt I had cut out earlier. Measure how wide it is and double it because it is folded and then mark on the shirt. Remember to add seam allowance while cutting. Now I'm taking the lace and I'm going to fold it once. Then place the piece on top and cut out. Do the same for the cuff. Fold it once and mark the side. Then cut out. I didn't have enough shirt fabric to fold it, but the lace was big enough, so I folded that instead. You just have to improvise as you go, especially with these transformation clothes. I then used that piece to cut out the other piece, which was smaller on one side, and I had to rip the hem to create more cutting space. I then folded the lace once, then again, and cut the lace part of the piece. the shirt, turn it inside out and push the sides. Do the same for the sleeves. I decided to do a lapped finish so cut one side of the row edge about halfway and then fold the other full edge to the cut edge and stitch it down. 
Now take the bottom pieces and stitch them at the sides. separate one of the pieces since one side is open. And then join the sides as well. Place the lace onto the shirt fabric and pin it so it doesn't move for both the bottom and cuff pieces. I did not fill the bottom part of the bottom piece with lace because I didn't want to poke a hole in the lace. I then stitched that bottom part to keep it in place. Then join the bottom piece to the main shirt and stitch. again then pin it and stitch i used hand stitching for this part because i didn't want the stitches to show on the other side this is how we'll join the cuff to the sleeve but first stitch the sides then join That is it. Iron it and you're done. This is how the end result looks like. I did think the sleeves looked a bit small while making it, but after wearing it, I was relieved to see they were just fine. Thank God. Do subscribe if you haven't and I'll see you next time.